Take a picture. Take a picture. I want to be famous now. Six Nines attackers accidentally ratted themselves out and just got caught and arrested for jumping him. Maybe he can finally come back from Cuba now. Rafael Medina, one of the gang members who attacked the rapper, told his accomplices to film him showing the rapper his place so he could be famous. Yo, nigga, jump six nine, bro. His friend who shot the video took this seriously and posted it on Instagram and Twitter. Yo, homie, I'm, a, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm a fan, bro. He quickly realized his mistake and made his page private, but it was too late. Six Nines supporters reposted the video before it was taken down, exposing the culprit's identities. That's crazy. The clip also implicated a man named Bullet Guzman, who is the only one not identified and tracked by law enforcement yet. Bullet was previously in jail for eight years, though, and may go back in because of his friend's idiocracy. The rest of his squad was caught by police in Palm Beach, where the beating took place. They're currently held in county jail and waiting for more details on the case. 6 9 said he won't increase his security, calling the incident a fluke. Most rappers of that status have entire teams, yet he was completely alone at the gym. One of his bodyguards, Bam Bam, chimed in and challenged the men who attacked 6 9 to a fight. Bam Bam's terms? If the assailants win, he'll pay them $10,000. But if they lose, they die. Simple terms, but others think that Bam Bam is trying to keep the beef going just to act tough. Others believe the bodyguard himself might have set up 6 9 so maybe this supposed fight is his way of keeping the rapper's trust. Bam Bam took to Instagram and denied these accusations, claiming that 6 9 is a grown man that he can't guard at all times. If he wants to do cardio alone, that's his choice. And if he wants to go outside without his security, he can do it at his own risk. After this, though, 6 9 will think twice about going out without Bam Bam. The rapper was hospitalized for a few hours after the attack but now is out and free to do whatever he likes. He's not staying in Florida though, because he was spotted out in Cuba. DJ Academics shared a clip of the rainbow-haired rapper hiking up a mountain in the remote Cuban town of Pinar del Rio, which has a population of 150 grand, if not less. He might be trying to flee the US and get as far as possible from every gang member who wants him six feet under. I got a lot of people mad right now. Like They're looking at their phone right now like, <laughs> The chances of American gang members following 6 9 there are quite slim, so he's safe for now. Other rappers are clowning on him for fleeing the country and are saying the guys who beat him up should get rewarded for beating up a snitch. Boozy Badass is even thinking about starting a fundraiser for them, and Chief Keef seemed to support it on Twitter. 6 9s own fans are disappearing at record rates too, while more and more fans are becoming haters. He's putting out less and less music every year and still taking nothing seriously despite getting assaulted.